Hi everyone. Now we will talk about subviews in Laravel. So first we will discuss what is subviews, how we can make them, how we can use subviews, how we can pass data from one view to the another subviews, how we can check if subview is exist or not in our project and at last we will discuss some important interview questions related to subviews in Laravel. So let's move on our first question. What is subview? See subview and view are the same thing in the Laravel. But whenever we are including a view inside the another view, the included view is getting called as subview in Laravel. Let me explain this with the help of example that will help you more to understand it better. So for example, if we have two view files, first one is home.blade.php and another is header.blade.php. And if we are including our header file to the home file, that time our header.blade.php will be the subview and home.blade.php will be the main view in our project and that's we call actually subview in Laravel. So now the next thing how we can make subviews which is again similar to the views you can uh, either you can create manual files for views or either you can use the command line. We learn both of things all right. So now let's see how we can create for now we have one uh, home.blade.php we have two files uh, first one is uh, Auto, uh, by default created and another home.blade.php we just created in the uh, last part. So I will create two subviews there inside a folder and the subview name will be the header and the inner and the folder name will be the common. So how we can do that let me show you. So we'll do it do them first with the help of command line. So I'll just put there command php artisan make and then we can say that view and our view name which is header but we want to create it inside a uh, folder name with the of the folder name will be the common right then common dot header and you will find that uh, inside a common folder that one header dot blade dot file is cre created similarly i am creating creating one more file php artisan make uh, view and view name will be inner so I'm putting there common dot inner right and now you can see that we have uh, two files in our common folder and the both we will use them as a subview. So how we can include subview in a main file the simple thing is you can simply use at the rate include and you can put your subview name which is header but we know that this header is uh, created inside a common folder so put your folder name first common dot header and now it will work but before that we have to just write inside the header file also so i'm putting h1 tag and mention their header file and there let me add some style also style and then we can simply mention background color and that will be let's say green or something now let's try to execute it but before that we have to run our php artisan server so let's run it and now let's see this is perfectly working fine right so this is the way how we can include a subview but how we can pass data from a main view to a main view to the subview so let me for that i am creating i am just using the inner.blade.php and uh, I'm putting the h1 tag inside this right and just mentioning their inner file or inner view whatever you want to say right and just simply use their at the rate include and then simply mention folder name dot file name which is inner right and now you will find this is also working perfectly fine but how to pass data so just as a second parameter use anything for example dot name and i'm putting there anil siddhu there like this right uh, like this or you can say that this is home page like this right and there you can mention page so now uh, you can use this page as a variable inside our subview so you can simply just remove this inner file and mention double curly braces then dollar page and now you can see that this is the home file right so we can make it dynamic also uh, i'll explain you how but first let's give some color there right uh, style color is let's say uh, sky blue or something right 
you can see that this is working fine so let's say i have one more uh main view with the name of let's say about dot blade dot php like this right and there again i'm putting their h1 tag about page and how we can use this we can directly call them from uh, uh, you can say that mm -mm, web dot php right which is our route file or either you can simply use the user controller so let me use a user controller there so i'm just copy and pasting this and there i'm mentioning user about and file name will be about.blade.php now we have to create a route for this so go to the uh, web.php and create one more route and there you can see that user about and let's change the function name it should be the similar this one and this function name should be the similar right and now if i'm just putting there in the second tab if i'm putting there user about okay view about is not found reason being let me see because this by by mistake this is created inside a common so let me just get it out from there now this is working fine right so from there again you can simply use include and then you can use common dot uh, inner and there inside the array you can again take a dollar page variable not dollar actually just need to page key and then you can say that this is about page right and now there you will see this is about page and this is the home page so we are passing the dynamic data to the uh, inner dot blade dot php file okay so the next thing is so let's say you are trying to include in our uh, maybe home dot blade dot php you are trying to include a one abc or something any file which is not exist or you don't know this is exist exist or not then by default it will throw a error here you can see that common dot abc is not found right so how we can check if a subview is exist or not simply you can put there if like this if you just put like this then you can see there is a no error but if this file is not exist then there will be no error and no output also but let's say i'm just putting there inner this file is existing right then with inner if it will first check if this file is exist or not and if this is exist then it will uh, show you the uh, you can see that uh, content also right so that's all for this part we know we get to know how we can create subviews why we use them how we can pass data how we can check so interview question there are major two interview question first one is how we can check if subview is exist or not second one how we can pass data right so that's all for this part if you still have question query you can ask me in the comment section this is my paytm donation number thanks guys thanks for watching this part